Professor and all the team and all the international faculty. And thanks to my, uh, thank you from Assam India. Today I'm going to talk about uh, saving time and the role of Eliezer in elbow trauma. So it's a very common injury. Uh, plating becomes the gold standard of this injury, but we see that uh, in doing a very good reduction, we, we applying two plates, we have to dilute the soft tissue. We have to, we have to degrade with the blood tissue and we can have a, a infection also in these cases. So the normal methods are uh, conservative plaster, uh, plating, x fix uh, uh, or Elizero. So in any uh, complex compound, commutative fractures, we have to see for the blisters, ecchymosis, soft tissue injury, bone exposed, neurovascular injury. We have to wait, debate, elevate, span, x fix If you apply x fix it may cause stiff elbow. So Elizero is indication in the complex compound fractures and we get excellent healing in the range of motion in these cases. So let's have a uh, short uh, comparison. Uh, plating, can be, uh, plating gives a, a mono or biaxial fixation, whereas uh, Elizero gives a multi-axial and circumferential fixation. Plating, we have to give a large incision. Uh, we give to, uh, have to a soft tissue trauma, pedestal stripping, dressing, and scar, whereas Elizero has, is a minimal invasive in where it's very cosmetic. And plate is, uh, is a rigid fixation, and uh, Elizero is a dynamic fixation. Plate is done in a single sitting. No post-op modifications is possible, whereas in Elizero, we can do as much as modification post-ops. So in uh, plating, uh, if we apply slab, there is a joint stiffness and uh, the room is delayed. And whereas in Elizero, the, uh, we can do range of motions uh, next day only. Infections and low indications, a chance in plating. And Elizero is uh, very minimal. Uh, activities of daily life is little late because of the large incision. Whereas in Elizero, we can start the ideals next day only. We have to first have a, short, a very good knowledge of the neurovascular anatomy before we apply Elizero in the upper limb, the bone anatomy, the safe zones. So this is a modified mid of safe zone where uh, we can say red is the danger zone, yellow is the moderate zone, and green is the safe zone. I'm making the series of these charts for all the parts. So we have to see this for the wire placements. I'm going short. We have to see the articular impacted uh, commutative fragment for a better fixation. The column concept is actually very, very important on all the elbow fracture, whether we apply a plate or an elizero. So we have to fix the lateral column, the middle column, and the tie arc. Whatever the matter, the principle is that it has to be the same. So the same we uh, just, uh, follow here. So we can see there, just uh, we can see just two wires above, one wire niche, and two K wires below. But it is a ten-part fixation. We have three to four Elizero wires, so we have three, six to eight cortices. We have two, we have two to four cross K wires, so we have four to eight cortices. The two K wires hold the medial and lateral column very well, holds axial rotation and displacement very well, reduce load of extra rings, and it eases early removal. You can see it makes a triangular fixation. Those gives a very good fixation with a very minimal invasive device. So for combination, we can use the olive wires, washers, CC screws. For displacement, we can give ring traction. As you can see the figure, we can do mini open, we can use olives. For soft tissue, we can do debridements, uh, skin graft, flap or whack whenever needed as in the case. So the fracture reduction techniques, we can uh, give traction with these different methods, classical or with the traction table also. I use, in all the community cases, I usually do not open in 99% of cases, just give a wire and half ring, reduce and give a joystick technique. With this, we can reduce maximum techniques. I've been doing this in, in multiple of cases. So you can see the previous X-ray and the uh, post-op X-rays. And we can uh, just save the iron and with thumb. So these are the various uh, reduction techniques, the Oliver reduction techniques. I'm skipping this. Oliver technique, drawer technique, joystick technique, archway technique. So these are the different configuration we must know before applying Elizero. So I started with a full ring and gradually I've just come down to just one and a half ring with experience and with the need of the patient. So post of counseling, rehab, dressing is very important, training the patient very important, follow-up x-rays are very important, removal can be done in 12 to 24 weeks as required. Next day we can do full range of motion in all the cases. Whatever is the case, you can simply do full range of motion. Activities of daily life is not a problem in Elizabeth. It's not, it's not a bulk implant. Patient can ride a bike also. So it's a very good device. It's not a bulk implant. Can take shower, can, take, can lift a chair. Let's see a few cases. This is an open digital and humerus case. We cannot apply a plate. If you apply an X-fix, it will go stiff. So we did a thorough debridement. We reduced with various olive wires. And then over it, I applied the ring. It's so healed very well in 3.5 months. You can see full range of motion. You cannot delineate which limb was operated. Similar case. Similar case, you can end up with uh, infection and plating, or you can simply go with olive wires and two and a half rings here. Full range of motion uh, in the OT and post op. Complete range of motion. 
similar case. I'm just reading one of our group now. Patient can move a chair in around a week only. So I just request all the patients to take up chair in the week also. That is not possible with plating. That is never possible with plating. We can also check uh, under black block whether there is any neurovascular injury. So this is very uh, good to see if you have injured the ulna or not. In a young child, 13 years, if you apply a slab just spinning, we cannot uh, raise the chair like this in, in five days. So this is possible only with Elizabeth. Or even in eight years, female, this is done totally done in minimally invasive fracture, healed very well in three months. So age is not a problem. Will you do this? I would like to do it, sir, later on. Not now. sir. No, sir. So few post of results, patient can do all the activities of daily life with Elizabeth and elbow, it's not a problem. The brief is there's a bloodless process, minimal invasive, age is not a bar, ring numbers has been reduced from two and a half to one and a half, two cross cavas is very important, ring period is around one to seven five months. So I always keep uh, Elizabeth instruments and box in my OT. So the take home message is Elizabeth and elbow fracture is an excellent device in complex compound elbow fracture. If Proper application and follow-up is done. It is a wonderful primary fixation device. Good knowledge and experience of laser is needed. It's a modular implant and can be adjusted. Post-op is required. Soft tissue is not a problem. It's minimal invasive. Early activities of daily life is possible. So the hashtag goes like Elizabeth saving limbs and hope is life. Thank you. These are the mentors who taught me Elizabeth. Thank you. Thanks a lot.